name is Ebony Jackson, and I'm here to inspire you. I love the question that was asked, how can you inspire someone? Well, let me share my story with you, and let me tell you this is a real story, so pull up a chair and have a seat. Basically, in third grade, you know, most of the time you kind of have an idea of what your niche is, you know what you're good at, you know what you suck at, you know what you love, you know what you hate, you know what I mean. So basically, in third grade, I had no clue. I wasn't good at science. I wasn't good at math, Lord knows I was horrible with the numbers. So I was really trying to find my voice. And I love my experience because in third grade, it was my third grade English teacher who helped me discover my gift. She asked the class to kind of conduct and come up with a whole bunch of different stories, poetry. We could kind of do like a creative spin. And I did a poem and my first poem was called The Rose. And I remember when I shared it with the class, afterward my third grade English teacher said to me, Wow, Ebony, you really have a gift with words. And I was just so taken aback at third grade. I just, it never left me. It always stuck with me. And I realized the magnitude of my words. I realized how profound and powerful words are and how they truly can touch lives and inspire. And if I can inspire someone, if I can inspire a young girl to keep her skirt down and be proud of herself and walk proudly with grace and integrity, if I can help someone to realize their potential and inspire them to overcome oppression and know that God has got great things in store for them, that's what I'm here to do. That is my purpose and that is my goal. And that's why I am a superwoman. Yes, I am. And that is why I'm a superwoman. My name is Ebony Jackson, so please get inspired.